Right now, 550 meters above the Dubai desert, construction crews are putting the finishing touches on what might be the most controversial building ever constructed. The Burj Binkati, Jacob and Company residences, the world's tallest residential skyscraper, 104 floors of pure luxury rising higher than most countries' tallest buildings. But here's what the marketing brochures don't tell you. This isn't just a building. It's a $2 billion experiment in whether human engineering can create livable space at altitudes where commercial jets cruise. And the controversy? It's not just about the height. I'm about to expose why this tower represents everything that's wrong with modern luxury development, why engineers are terrified about what happens when the wind hits this thing, and why the $200 million penthouse at the top might be the most dangerous place to live on Earth because what they're calling the ultimate residential experience might actually be a death trap wrapped in diamond-encrusted marketing. The engineering nightmare. Let me blow your mind with what they're actually building in Dubai. This tower isn't just tall, it's structurally insane. At 550 plus meters, the Burj Bengati is taller than the CN Tower in Toronto, the Lotto World Tower in Seoul, and nearly every other building on Earth except for a handful of mixed-use skyscrapers. But here's the engineering challenge that's keeping structural engineers awake at night. Residential buildings aren't supposed to be this tall. The structural loads are completely different from office towers. Residential floors need to support furniture, appliances, and people distributed unpredictably throughout the space. Office floors have predictable uniform loading patterns. At 550 meters, wind forces become exponentially more dangerous. The tower needs advanced damping systems, reinforced structural cores and engineering solutions that have never been tested at this scale for residential use. And the foundation? They had to drill over 200 piles deep into Dubai's bedrock just to prevent this thing from toppling over. The $200 million penthouse. Here's where this project crosses the line from ambitious to absolutely insane. The signature Billionaire Sky Penthouse spans two floors at the very top of the tower and costs over $200 million. $200 million for an apartment. But here's what they're not telling buyers. Living at 550 meters above sea level creates physiological challenges that most people can't handle. The air pressure is significantly lower than ground level. Temperature fluctuations are extreme. And the psychological effects of living at that altitude can include anxiety, sleep disorders, and vertigo. Oh, and there's one more tiny detail. If there's ever a fire or emergency, evacuation from the top floors could take over an hour using the stairs. That's assuming the elevators are working and the stairwells aren't compromised. For $200 million, you're buying a luxury prison in the sky. The structural gamble. Here's the part that's got structural engineers around the world talking. The Burj Bing Hadi uses a high-strength reinforced concrete core system that's never been tested at this height for residential use. The central core houses elevators, service shafts, and provides the primary structural support for the entire building. But at 550 meters, the concrete has to withstand forces that push the limits of material science. Wind loading at that height can create lateral forces equivalent to a moderate earthquake hitting the building continuously. The tower needs to flex without breaking, but not not so much that people inside get motion sickness. Engineers are using self-climbing formwork systems and robot-assisted construction to maintain precision, but they're essentially building an experimental structure and hoping their calculations are correct. If they're wrong, the consequences could be catastrophic. The wind problem. Here's what happens when wind hits a 550 meter residential tower. The building becomes a giant tuning fork. At certain wind speeds, the tower will vibrate at frequencies that can cause structural resonance. That means the building could literally shake itself apart if the damping systems fail. But even if the structure holds, the movement at the top floors could be severe enough to cause motion sickness, furniture to slide around, and windows to flex beyond their design limits. Engineers are installing advanced vibration dampening systems, but these have never been tested at this scale in a residential building. Office workers can evacuate if a building becomes uncomfortable. Residents are supposed to live there. And here's the really scary part. Dubai's wind patterns are changing due to climate change and urban development. The wind loads this building was designed for might not match the actual conditions it will face over its lifetime. The fire safety nightmare. 
Fire safety in super tall residential buildings is a problem that hasn't been solved, and the Burj Bing Hatti makes it worse. At 550 meters, traditional firefighting equipment can't reach the upper floors. Fire department ladders max out around 30 to 40 meters. Helicopter rescue is nearly impossible due to wind conditions and the building's height. The building relies entirely on internal fire suppression systems and evacuation procedures. But here's what fire safety experts know. In a real emergency, elevators shut down and people have to use the stairs. Evacuating from the 104th floor to ground level via stairs could take 90 minutes or more for a healthy adult. For elderly residents, people with mobility issues or anyone carrying children, it could be impossible. The building includes refuge floors where people can wait for rescue, but those floors become death traps if the fire spreads or smoke infiltration occurs. The $2 million entry fee. Standard apartments in the Burj Bingati start at $2 million. $2 million for the privilege of living in an experimental building that might be uninhabitable. But here's what buyers aren't being told. The building's extreme height creates ongoing costs that could bankrupt even wealthy residents. Elevator maintenance costs are astronomical. Specialized equipment, highly trained technicians, and frequent repairs due to the extreme vertical distances. Utility costs are higher due to pumping water and maintaining air pressure at altitude. Insurance costs are through the roof because insurance companies understand the risks, even if buyers don't. And property values could collapse if the building develops structural problems or becomes known as unsafe. You're not just buying an apartment, you're buying into a high-risk experiment that could cost you millions more over time. The Jacob and Company Partnership. Here's where this project gets really weird. The building is partnered with Jacob and Company, a luxury jewelry company with zero experience in real estate development or structural engineering. Jacob and Company makes expensive watches and jewelry. They have no expertise in building safety, residential design, or super tall construction. Yet their name is on a building that's supposed to house hundreds of families. The partnership is purely about branding and marketing luxury, not about creating safe, livable space. The building's design is inspired by Jacob and Company watch designs, prioritizing visual spectacle over practical considerations. It's like hiring a fashion designer to perform brain surgery. The results might look impressive, but they could be deadly. The Dubai Real Estate Bubble the Burj Bengati represents everything that's wrong with Dubai's speculative real estate market. Developers are building increasingly extreme projects to attract international investors, regardless of whether anyone actually wants to live in them. Dubai's luxury real estate market is already showing signs of oversupply. Many high-end developments have high vacancy rates and prices are stagnating despite continued construction. The Burj Bengati is betting that there are enough ultra-wealthy buyers willing to pay premium prices for experimental living spaces. But if the market turns, owners could find themselves trapped in overpriced apartments in a building that's expensive to maintain and impossible to sell. And here's the really scary part. If the building becomes financially unviable, maintenance could be deferred, creating safety risks for the people still living there. The regulatory failure Dubai's building codes allow the Burj Bingati to exist, but that doesn't mean it's safe. Building regulations in Dubai are designed to attract international investment and showcase the city's ambition. Safety considerations often take a backseat to economic and political goals. The approval process for super tall buildings focuses on structural engineering and fire codes that were written for office buildings, not residential towers. Many of the unique risks of residential super tall living aren't addressed in current regulations. International building safety experts have raised concerns about Dubai's regulatory approach, but those concerns are ignored in favor of projects that generate headlines and attract investment. The maintenance nightmare. Here's what happens after the Burj Bengati is completed. The real costs begin. Maintaining a 550-meter residential tower requires specialized equipment, highly trained technicians, and constant vigilance. Elevator systems need frequent maintenance and eventual replacement. Structural monitoring systems require ongoing calibration and repair. Window cleaning requires specialized equipment and procedures that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars annually. HVAC systems must work against extreme altitude and wind conditions, and any major repairs require equipment and expertise that might not be available locally.
the building's homeowners association will face maintenance costs that could exceed the purchase price of apartments over the building's lifetime. And if owners can't afford those costs, the building could deteriorate rapidly. The psychological experiment. Living at 550 meters above ground creates psychological stresses that most people don't anticipate. The sense of isolation from ground level can trigger anxiety and depression. The constant awareness of extreme height can cause persistent stress. And the building's movement in wind can create motion sensitivity that affects sleep and daily activities. Children raised in such environments may develop unusual relationships with height and space that could affect their psychological development. Elderly residents may find the altitude exacerbates existing health conditions. The Burj Bengati is essentially conducting an uncontrolled experiment on human psychology, using paying residents as test subjects. The climate change factor. Dubai's climate is becoming more extreme due to climate change, and that creates new risks for super tall buildings. Higher temperatures increase thermal expansion and contraction, stressing building materials. More intense storms create wind loads beyond original design parameters, and rising sea levels could affect the building's foundation over time. The Burj Bingati was designed based on historical climate data that may not reflect future conditions. As Dubai's climate becomes more extreme, the building could face stresses it wasn't designed to handle. The international precedent. If the Burj Bengati succeeds commercially, other cities will try to copy it. We could see a race to build increasingly tall residential towers without adequate consideration of safety and livability. Urban planning experts are already concerned about the Dubai model spreading to other cities with less stringent safety oversight. The result could be dangerous residential towers in cities around the world. But if the Burj Bengati fails, structurally, financially, or as a place to live, it could discredit super tall residential development and lead to more restrictive building codes worldwide. The future that hangs 550 meters in the air. The Burj Bengati, Jacob and Co. residences will be completed soon and then we'll find out whether this $2 billion experiment was brilliant or catastrophic. Maybe the engineering will work perfectly, residents will love living at extreme altitude and the building will become a model for future development. Or maybe we'll discover that there are good reasons why humans have never built residential towers this tall before. The building represents the ultimate expression of Dubai's philosophy. If you can engineer it and finance it, you should build it, regardless of whether it makes sense. But engineering and financing can't solve every problem. Some limits exist for good reasons, and the Burj Bing Hattie is about to test whether those limits are real or just failures of imagination. The tower is rising, the apartments are selling, and soon hundreds of families will be living in the most extreme residential building ever constructed. Whether they'll be living safely is a question that won't be answered until it's too late to change the answer. We are committed to releasing two videos a week. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more visionary builds.